don't count anybody out, and we sure don't make a habit of presuming anyone's support. Support is asked for and earned, and that's why I'm here today. Now, with 90% of African Americans who typically vote for Democrats, you may wonder, or some may wonder, why a Republican would bother to campaign in the African American community and to address the NAACP. One reason, of course, is that I hope to represent all Americans of every race, creed, and sexual orientation. From the poorest to the richest and everyone in between. That was Governor Mitt Romney speaking this morning at the NAACP convention in Houston. And as you just heard, the governor received applause throughout the speech. But there were also a handful of moments where the audience was, well, a bit less receptive to his message. And that's because the governor refused to pull punches and pander to the crowd. Instead, he vowed to repeal Obamacare and even dared to criticize the president's policies. Watch. I'm going to eliminate every non-essential, expensive program I can find. That includes Obamacare, and I'm going to work to reform and save. <laughs> if you want a president who will make things better in the African-American community, you are looking at him. You take a look. All right, now, despite that reaction, in the end, Governor Romney received a standing ovation from the audience. And joining me now in studio with analysis of what this could all mean in November, Fox News contributor Santita Jackson and Fox News political analyst Angela McLellan. Welcome both of you to the program. Thank you for having us. Thank Sa you. Santita, before I get to all this, I, I know there's been, even tonight, as conflicting reports uh, about your brother, Congressman Jackson. And, and first of all, from, from our standpoint, my standpoint, I hope he's okay. Um, and I just wanted to, to say that. And is there anything you can tell us? Is he doing okay? Well, first of all, let me thank you, Sean, and my Fox family, and for so many people across the country who have been just so loving and so respectful of our privacy. I think the first thing that our family wants to do is protect his privacy, of course. You know, doctors have the HIPAA standards that they have to obey, and uh, I think that what we have to do is dial everything back and just give him the grace of space so that he can get well. But I want to thank you so much for asking for him and for being so kind. Yeah, well, first of all, I don't think it's at people's business. And you know what? We just wish him well. He's in our prayers. And uh, look forward for him coming on the program and beating me up again. So uh, I'll look forward for oh, that. Oh, he won't do that, Sean. Yes, he will. You always do this. <laughs> well, you, he, he does it with glee, I, but that's okay. All right, Santita, <laughs> let, me, let me throw this at you. So here, the, the African American community, 90% plus, goes Barack Obama in the 2008 election. Well, unemployment for African Americans is now up to 14.4%. It hasn't gotten better, it's gotten worse. Youth unemployment, African American unemployment, is now 50 percent and as Mitt Romney pointed out 17 percent of African-American children in our schools but they represent 42 percent of students in the worst performing schools so why mm -hmm. sh how does Barack Obama make the case that he deserves re-election from a part of his base that voted overwhelming for him well, you know, I wish that he were there this week to make that case. Mm. I think that he's made a lot of great strides to try and improve the lot, not just of African Americans, but of all Americans, because the fact is, through Democratic and Republican presidents, the African American wealth has dropped 60, 65 percent since 1983. From 1983 to 2009, it's dropped 65 percent. So we have an issue with Democratic and Republican presidents and administrations. And so, A, I'm glad, that, I'm glad, I'm glad that Governor worse. Romney was there today. Well, right, but no, this president you know made it worse. No, I think this president has not improved. It it, it's particularly, it's nearly, tw I'll throw it to Angela. Yeah. It's nearly twice the national average. It's nearly twice the national average. And even though, Santita, we have the first black president, black people don't mm -hmm. have a seat at the table. He sent Biden to speak before mm -hmm. the National Association of Black Journalists. And even Bush in 2002, he spoke before the Urban League. And Mitt Romney did take a page out of his playbook and talked about our unemployment rate, talked about our school system, talked about our crime rate, and I give Mitt Romney kudos for showing up, but Obama didn't mm -hmm. even show up. He's taking our vote for granted, and blacks don't want to ask him those hard questions. He has not even given any black press interviews since 2009. Why, why, doesn't he, why isn't he showing up? 
Because he's taken our vote for granted. Well, no, is, it a, is it he's afraid because of these horrific numbers? He's not afraid. He's not afraid. Unfortunately, in <laughs> no, our community, we can even look at Marion Barry being reelected. We can even look at Charlie Rangel in Harlem being reelected. Sometimes we can be loyal to a fault. But Mitt Romney well, no, showing think, up. You're saying that it's race based then? I no, think no, 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 I, no, no, that's not true because let me tell you something. Santita, I didn't get to finish answering the question. I apologize. I, think that, I apologize. I think that some of it is mm -hmm. race based. I think some of it is that we do want to support a black president. Mm -hmm. But I commend Romney for showing up and putting the facts in our faces of what he could do and what Obama hasn't done. Thank but you. what I object to, Angela, is the smearing of Marion Barry. Marion Barry has been in service to the African American community and to the broader community for more than 50 years. He was years. on video smoking as, 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 crack wait cocaine. Wait a minute. As you know what? And a lot of people have a lot of problems. There's a lot of private Santita. pain in public life. No, Angela, that is out of line. As a and former let us take, activist let us take, in let us take, Washington, D.C., yeah, I am. I'm an activist too. As a former activist and I lived in Washington, Washington D.C., he was my mayor. First hand, I've seen how we got volunteers from Howard University to help welfare mothers in D.C. get their GED. Now, let's talk about facts here. Absolutely. You've had Look, people I, I when I Howard. Come worked on in Washington, D.C., we were the murder capital of the war per capita. Yes. And Marion Barry was smoking crack, okay? So the bottom line you know, but is that's this. Not, but wait a minute, that is, but that is not all that he was doing. He was also sponsoring a summer youth employment program that employed more African American youth and white youth than it any other program enough. in the country. Right, well, we're getting off topic, no, no, but, but Santita, you know Santita, let me ask you this. But it's not enough. Right, but, but, the, but the no reality is, him. that is out of line, Angela. Right, the unemployment rate in the Hispanic community right now is 11 percent. In the African American community, 14.4 mm -hmm. percent. This president made promises. He said he'd cut the deficit in half. He said he'd create jobs. We have five trillion in debt. So the reality is. Is he did not fulfill his promise. So will the African American community that voted overwhelmingly for him look at this as the failure that it is? 14.4%. You know, I think that what they need to do is raise a challenge to Governor Romney and to President Obama. I do not believe in but uncritical he failed. support. Well, Governor Romney hasn't had a no, shot yet. I don't think that, but you know what, Sean? I don't think that anyone would have succeeded in this Nobody depression. Nobody would. All right, so that's what, the excuse but, but, but now? We have to, but what we have to, no, no, that's not the excuse. That's the reason. In 2012, I think what the African-American community, the Hispanic okay. community, the white community, the red community, all communities all right, last word need to, to Angela. ask, we what are you going Romney to do Romney made me? a great statement, Santini, said if equal opportunity mm -hmm. wasn't a Accomplished fact, then a bad economy would be equally bad for everyone, and it's been worse for our community. President Obama has made a lot That's of promises right. to us and has not delivered. And Sean, I think that Mitt Romney has a shot in gaining some of those black votes, but it's not just dealing with the economy, it's same sex marriage and the right to life. Well, I think what's going to be interesting, uh, you know, I think he will not get the same numbers that, meaning President Obama, that he got from the African American community. And I think some will stay home, and I think some will switch to Mitt Romney. But we got, we'll wait and well, see. I love being courted. I love being courted. I'm so glad that he was there. I appreciate the fact that he was there. Right. Here, here. And thank you both for being with us. All the best, by the way, to your brother. And uh, we mean that sincerely. He's in our prayers.